at least one union minister who's leading by a huge margin. Mr. Rejiju, welcome to NDTV. First of all, congratulations to you. You are leading by... Thank you very you much. You are leading in lakhs. Now, since you are a very senior representative of the government now yeah, and uh, of the Bharti Janta Party too, veteran MP of the BJP, uh, Mr. Rejiju, sum up for me and my viewers, how do you see the election so far? How do you see the trends that have emerged so far? Uh, well, in my home state in Arunachal Pradesh, we are uh, uh, you know, completely uh, you know, winning the election as per our expectation. Uh, but other states, um, as being reported by media and the election commission website, uh, there seems to be some uh, result or some trend which are uh, totally uh, uh, against what we had expected. But overall, uh, the mood and uh, the uh, support base, if you see the entire NDA, it's a very clear-cut case that Modi ji will become Prime Minister for the third time. And it is a historic moment uh, to, uh, despite so much of negative campaign by the opposition parties uh, trying to wipe up the sentiments uh, of uh, different kinds, playing all kind of negative politics. But still, uh, Modi ji's leadership uh, is being uh, cemented, uh, seemed to be, uh, by the people of India. So, uh, it's a very clear-cut case that Modi ji will become the Prime Minister of India for the third consecutive time. So, big headline there, Mr. Kiran Rijiju, you are giving us. Uh, you're the first union minister who has come out and openly said that Mr. Narendra Modi is becoming the Prime Minister of uh, India for the third consecutive time again. As I said, history being made there. Uh, first time uh, again after Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru's multiple terms, this would be... Uh, the epoch-making uh, elections. However, Mr. Rijiju, uh, many neutral observers would say that this is at best, at best, and I choose my words carefully here, at best, a mixed bag of a result for you, your party, as in not for you individually, you, you, are, you are scoring a thumping majority, but for your party and the NDA. Would you agree with that summation, Mr. Rijiju? See, Nikunj, in a democratic setup, we have to follow the uh, norms, whatever is, uh, uh, you know, being practiced in a democratic system. And in a democracy, the mandate of the people uh, is the guiding principles for all of us to function. In democracy, it is said that voice of the God is same as voice of the people. So, voice of the people means voice of the God. We are guided by the uh, people's decision. So, whatever result comes, we will uh, humbly accept and then continue to serve the nation. And remember, Nikunj, we will never have a leader like Modi ji again. And uh, from a precarious uh, economic political condition in 2014, India has emerged as a very... A strong and stable nation and today the whole global world look up to India for economic stability and moreover inside the country Modi ji has ushered in an era of peace and prosperity for last 10 years so the same trend will continue in the future I am absolutely clear and confident that in Modi ji's third term India will achieve many more milestones because in the last six decades of Congress and their allies rule in India, they reduce India to a poor nation. India's capacity and ability is much more than what uh, the Congress party has reduced India into. So the third term will ensure that India's growth trajectory will get uh, further momentum and we are looking forward to serve the nation under the leadership of Modi ji. So let us be very clear that Modi ji uh, will serve the nation again as the Prime Minister for the third time. Mr. Rijiju, it's interesting that you say that you will continue the reforms or the progressive uh, policies of your government in the third term. However, this will now not be a BJP government. As, as, as it stands today, as it stands at this moment at least, uh, you are falling well short of a majority. 
Now, in that case, Mr. Rijiju, NDA will form the government. There's no, I mean, many will say that it will still be a BJP NDA government. But do remember that coalition politics, uh, which is, which will be the NDA politics, will have its own compulsions. And you, Mr. Rijiju, have been a cabinet minister of some very senior portfolios, law minister, uh, prior to that, junior minister in the Ministry of Home Affairs, the most sensitive ministry in the government. Then, now you still hold two portfolios concurrently. You know the politics that goes inside a cabinet in running the government. How do you see those challenges coming to the fore and play, Mr. Rijiju? See, if you look at uh, Modiji's uh, uh, policy as well as his uh, uh, style of functioning, he believes in Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas. It is only opposition parties who are trying to portray in a different manner. Modiji always takes everybody along. Uh, it is Modiji who said that it is not the battle for BJP alone, it is the NDA. So from the day one, of course BJP had its own target, but the whole campaign is the NDA family. So it is Modiji who has brought the entire NDA family together to ensure that India doesn't lose its uh, uh, you know, momentum. Uh, the ability of Modiji to take everybody along, not only political parties, Modiji takes along everyone, even those who are not in the political system. They are also widely consulted and their confidence are taken into and then they run the administration. So Modiji's philosophy of taking along everybody with the spirit of Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas is the mantra with which India is going forward. So uh, let us not uh, make any mistake by undermining anything out of this result. And we are waiting for the final result to come. Still uh, the counting process uh, is still going on. But uh, we must always believe that uh, the mandate of the people uh, will be always respected and India will continue to grow under the leadership of Modiji. And Modiji has the ability to make the whole country united to deal with any kind of situation. Some people may try to break the country and create divisions and fissures in the uh, society, but Modiji believes in Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas. So you think, Mr. Rijiju, that's an interesting point you make. You think you know, that Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas will now also apply to the political allies. Now, let me also put you a political question, Mr. Rijiju. And I will ask you in Hindi, because our Sayogi channel, NDTV India, also wants to join you with your side. I want to ask you, Mr. Rijiju, that you have two big allies of the last minute, like Chandra Babu Naidu Ji, who has been stitched in almost the last week, the same way as Nitish Kumar, who has been stitched in India, has been stitched in India. Both of them are so many numbers, which have been stitched in India, आपकी सरकार का काम पूरा हो जाएगा ये अभी की स्थिति है अभी की स्थिति के बारे में हम बात कर सकते हैं शाम तक हो सकता है ये स्थिति बदल जाए ऐसी स्थिति में आपको लगता है कि कहीं ना कहीं अगर ये एलाइज ना होते तो ये चुनाव आपके हाथ से स्लिप भी कर सकता था नहीं ये इस तरह का आंकलन करना सही नहीं अभी तो इलेक्शन रिजल्ट अभी तो आया नहीं अभी तो ट्रेंड चल रहे और जैसे ट्रेंड आग आते जाएंगे तो नतीजा भी उसके हिसाब से धीरे-धीरे आते रहेंगे। लेकिन मेरा इतना कहना है कि मोदीजी के नेतृत्व में सारा एनडीए ने चुनाव लड़ा और मोदीजी के नेतृत्व को देश ने भरोसा करके फिर से एनडीए को मजबूती देने का कागार पे है। तो इसपे कोई कंफ्यूजन हम लोगों का मन में नहीं होना चाहिए कि � सबका साथ सबका विकास के मंत्र से जिस तरीके से 10 साल में एक नई दिशा भारत को दिया है और बहुत मजबूत राष्ट्र के रूप में भारत उभर के आए हैं तो आगे भी मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में देश और आगे बढ़ते रहेंगे सब लोग यही चाहेंगे हम सिर्फ नहीं हर एक भारतीय यही चाहेंगे कि मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में भारत एक ताकतवर राष्ट्र के रूप में उभर के आएंगे कम से कम आपकी ये बात जो भारत सब भारतीय चाहेंगे वोट परसेंटेज में जरूर दिखाई दे रही है बीजेपी और 40 परसेंट के आसपास के वोट शेयर में जा रही है हालांकि हमें ये भूलना नहीं चाहिए पहला चुनाव है जिसमें शायद दोनों बड़े धड़े जो हैं 
वो 40 परसेंट से ऊपर वोट लेकर के बैठे हैं इस समय तक मिस्टर रिजिजू ये एक दिस इज़ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दैट यू से कि एन uh, के एकजुट होने और एन के मिस्टर मोदी के नेतृत्व में चुनाव लड़ने पर किसी को शक नहीं होना चाहिए क्योंकि सारे एन ने मिस्टर uh, मोदी के नेतृत्व में चुनाव लड़ा लेकिन ये बात आपके एलाइज भी मानते हैं क्या मिस्टर रिजिजू अरे सब इसमें मानने नहीं मानने का बात ही नहीं है ना इसमें तो मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में ही हम चुनाव लड़े हैं और मोदी जी हर एक कॉन्स्टिट्युंसी में जाते हैं तो वो सिर्फ वो बीजेपी कैंडिडेट के लिए नहीं वो एनडीए कैंडिडेट्स के लिए भी उतना ही मोदी जी प्रचार किया है जितना एक बीजेपी का कैंडिडेट के लिए किया है इसलिए इसमें कोई कन्फ्यूजन नहीं होना चाहिए और इसमें कुछ लोग तरह तरह का बातें करने का कोशिश करेंगे इसमें कोई दम नहीं है क्योंकि एकजुट होकर के एन ने मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में चुनाव लड़ा है तो मोदी जी के नेतृत्व का तो कोई मुकाबला तो है ही नहीं देश में जो आपका जो इंडी गठबंधन है वो तो अभी से लड़ने लग गया है वो चुनाव में तो आप देखा है कोई ना पश्चिम बंगाल में साथ है ना पंजाब में साथ है ना केरला में साथ है उनका तो एक कॉन्ट्राडिक्टी गठबंधन है अब आप केरला में जाके देखिए वो कांग्रेस और कम्युनिस्ट के बीच में कितना मारकाट है अब बंगाल में जाइए कांग्रेस और तृणमूल के बीच में क्या हालत है पंजाब में जाके देखिए आम आदमी और कांग्रेस के बीच में कितना गाला गाली चलते हैं तो उसमें तो कोई अलायंस तो था नहीं वो तो अपॉर्चुनिटिक एक अपॉर्चुनिस्टिक अलायंस बनाया चुनाव के लिए सिर्फ कुर्सी के लिए लेकिन एन तो कुर्सी के लिए नहीं देश बनाने के लिए चुनाव लड़ा है इसलिए एन में तो आपने देखा नहीं होगा कहीं भी एन के दलों के बीच में कोई कटास हो कोई मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग कोई आपस में तालमेल का कोई कमी तो दिखाई नहीं दिया लेकिन जो इंडिया गठबंधन जो आप लोग कहते हैं उसमें तो पूरा विरोधा आवास है इसमें तो चुनाव लड़ने से पहले ही वो एक साथ नहीं थे और आगे तो टूट फूट होकर तो वो तो साथ में काम नहीं कर सकते वो तो जो परिवारवाद को मानने वाले डायनेस्टिक पोलिटिकल पार्टीज लोग मिल करके मोदी जी को गिराने का जो कोशिश किया है देश तो मानेगा नहीं ना ऐसा परिस्थिति में देश और मजबूत से मोदी जी के साथ खड़ा होंगे आप आगे देखते रहिए मोदी जी किसी भी हालत से भारत का तीसरा तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बन के देश को बहुत आगे ले जाएंगे और ये इंटरेस्टिंग है मिस्टर रिजिजू दैट यू ब्रिंग मी टू दिस पॉइंट ऑफ डायनेस्टीज इन उत्तर प्रदेश इन द स्टेट वेयर इट इज सेड दैट डिसाइड्स द पोलिटिकल फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडिया heir of mr mulayam singh and samajwadi's party's young leader uh, akhilesh yadav has certainly stunned bjp and you have a state government there uh, bjp was banking on ram temple as well uh, to put wind in its sails what has gone wrong mr rijiju many people will say that you know the uttar pradesh results are completely completely diametrically opposite to what you people were expecting all along no it is difficult to analyze the result right now because uh, it is only the election uh, trend which are uh, coming let the result come and uh, party leadership will uh, uh, look into all the thing because election is not one time election is a continuous process we have municipal election panchayat elections then lok sabha vidhan sabha so in india uh, we have a vibrant democracy which uh, keeps on having different kind of elections and it gives different result at different time but what i'm saying is the, um, the fundamental point where nda has uh, uh, gone to this election with a um, uh, complete uh, you know uh, understanding uh, as a team whereas the the india alliance uh, they just uh, formed uh, a group uh without any kind of understanding or any kind of similarities they are opportunistic parties coming together for the sake of uh, occupying the power so there's a huge difference between nda and the india alliance you can't compare i won't even call india alliance as a proper uh, formal alliance because they are fighting each other uh, before election now and the future also they are fighting uh, amongst each other and nda expanded at the last moment we saw probably the largest number of parties joining nda before the nda uh, uh, finally took its latest shape but mr rijiju an alliance will remain an alliance and one will have to keep in mind that the alliances perform uh, quite differently 
quite differently from what a single party or single party majority government performs. However, my question to you is slightly different. My question to you, Mr. Rijiju, is that many people, including the pollsters, had written off the regional parties. Uh, in the Northeast also, Sikkim saw the massive mandate for a regional party. In the entire country also, we are almost seeing the resurgence of regional parties, be it uh, Andhra, be it uh, Uttar Pradesh, be it uh, some other North Indian states even put together. Do you think that India is now going back to a coalition era? Many neutral observers are saying that this is the return of coalition era. Do you agree with that summation, Mr. Rijiju, or would you have uh, differing views on that? Uh, Nikunj, as I had said earlier, before the final result is out, it is difficult for me or for anybody to make a political analysis of the ongoing election result. Uh, in, a, in a way, you know, different states have different sentiments and different uh, compositions and different uh, political formations. So in some areas, the regional parties are strong. In uh, many areas, uh, national parties are strong. But uh, one thing is uh, very clear that BJP is today the only pan-India national party. Uh, Congress is, uh, you know, reduced to a, a very, uh, you know, insignificant party in many of the states and union territories. So if you see that it's only because of Modi's leadership that the party has grown, uh, you know, from uh, North and Western centric party to Pan India party now. So I'm very proud as a member of Bharatiya Janata Party that today we have a party and a prime minister uh, under whose leadership the country is uh, standing unitedly and also marching ahead uh, as a proud nation. So let us not mix up uh, about the leadership and uh, some of the uh, you know regional parties winning some of the seats in the uh, uh, some pockets of our country but overall you you can ask anybody it is it is across the country uh, where people believe that modi ji is the only national leader today who can fulfill the aspiration of the people of india mr rijiju before i let you go I know you are a busy man today. You will have to tra not only track the results of your own constituency, but entire Northeast and then some, uh, some of your cabinet colleagues as well. Before I let you go, let me ask you one question. One question that is in the mind, or rather topmost in the minds of many, and one question that some people are trying to answer on their own. Do you think this entire slogan of char apki bar, char so par, somehow uh, was taken into a zone which made it uh, as if there is something completely uh, completely negative aligned to it. And that boomeranged on your party, Mr. Rijiju? No, no, this kind of uh, you know, assessment and uh, uh, this uh, kind of observation uh, you know, may not be true because uh, the, the winning and losing uh, of elections are because of many reasons. Uh, many things can be attributed to election victory as well as uh, election loss. Um, but uh, because the expectation was so high, so people may think that, okay, uh, NDA has not crossed 400. But NDA is winning the election. That is a big thing uh, in, in politics. In Hindi also, you have heard saying, no, Jojita jo was Sikandar. So winning election as a... Um, um, uh, you know, as a Put it true on democrat, him. as a person, as a citizen of this country, we we believe in uh, uh, fighting the election in the true spirit of democracy, and we will go by the mandate of the people. So uh, let us not go into deep analysis of the election right now, because uh, most of the uh, seats are still showing the trend. Uh, it's not the final result yet. So let us wait for some more time. Very much, Mr. Rijiju. Mr. Rijiju says, Jo Jita Wahi Sikandar. And he says, let's wait for a final word on the elections, which will crystallize. Thank you very much. As always, Mr. Rijiju, kind and nice of you to join NDTV. Thank you. Thank you.